I worked for nine months in a quality control department in a pharmaceutical industry in Greece and uh, I wanted to learn more about uh, the science and uh, how to work in the industry. So this course is really given uh, with that opportunity. I believe King has a very high reputation worldwide and then when I look into the course details and actually um, branch down what are the um, modules um, covered and it's actually quite relevant. It's an MSc that's really involved um, with taking the, uh, the drug material, uh, the white powder usually, and uh, uh, making that into a, a medicine. You do two core uh, modules that are, all, that are all about learning about the numerical and, uh, and analytical uh, techniques and the other ones concerned with um, the formulation, drug deposition and a, li a little bit on pharmacokinetics as well. And then after Christmas what, you, what, what you'll then do is specialised and you will be looking at um, making formulations either solid dosage forms or liquid dosage forms and um, you'll be concerned with um, all the characteristics and attributes of a drug that will impact on whether you can make it into say a tablet, into an inhaled product or an injectable or perhaps something uh, a little bit more advanced, perhaps a stealthy liposome or something like that that's got specific properties in terms of targeting. We have a number of um, excellent academics, their, their, their research is very focused on the delivery uh, of, of, of drugs and we're really looking at uh, overcoming um, sort of barriers to, to the delivery of a drug. Many drugs are um, uh, isolated or synthesized based on their, their ability to interact with a biological target. The problem is that those drugs are usually quite hard to get, then get to or deliver to that particular biological target. So they sometimes have very poor solubility, they're sometimes quite unstable. And so during the MSc in Pharmaceutical Technology, you'll be looking at the, uh, at, at the sort of strategies for getting over some of those barriers and delivering that drug to the, uh, to the, to the uh, sort of intended target. Students uh, get uh, quite acquainted with uh, professionals and um, highly qualified scientists who are interested of uh, not only our academic background and future, but also for students as a person. They are close to us and they are easily approachable, um, which is really nice and the environment is really friendly. A lot of international students are here, so we get to mix a lot of different people from different backgrounds. I like um, being here because of this environment and also the well-structured course. Yeah. Our students really have to have a sort of scientific background. A little bit of chemistry is important as well. Quite good in terms of the sort of their skills in mathematics, but we do teach uh, a good sort of sub-module on uh, statistical methods. The graduates that uh, apply uh, to the Pharmaceutical Technology uh, MSc um, usually have an interest in pharmaceutical sciences. Um, they either have been sort of previously uh, studying pharmaceutical sciences or pharmacy. We have a number of um, uh, pharmacists that have been qualified in the UK that have enjoyed a couple of years working in community or, or hospital pharmacies but then want to come back and top up their skills and perhaps develop a career more in the pharmaceutical industry rather than sort of the direct interaction with the patients. They tend to end up um, performing quite high up uh, management roles because they've got great skills in terms of worrying about the needs of the patient but also then developing sort of new and novel medicines. I would definitely recommend King's College uh, for a master's degree in pharmaceutical technology. This gives the opportunity to students to choose uh, which field they are interested most and to go on in their lives. If you really uh, have um, the intention and the desire to do it well, I'm sure you will enjoy as what I'm doing now, yeah.